Hi there, welcome back. Uh, this is the first part of making my second electric outboard motor. This is for my uh, inflatable dinghy. So, here's the starting situation. I got this motor. It's a DC motor, um, 48 volts, output 1 kilowatt, 1000 watts. 26.7 amps is the uh, rated output current. So here's that. I got it from eBay, ordered from Germany, about 100 euros. So about 100 dollars, US dollars. Here's the uh, motor controller. This is the old one. I used to use it for a while for my for my sailboat motor but it was underpowered it's rated like 50 amps but it's it's just for for a few like 30 seconds or something then it shuts down because it overheats so it's around 25 amps continuous mode which is just right amount for this motor and here's my old Eminrude outboard motor or the shell of it. I, I've, this is my first build for the bigger motor that I got installed here. This is the frame that I built for that. It was almost two years ago now. So I got this and it's it still runs okay. The reason why I built the bigger one you can see the video. I put the links below for the for the bigger motor build. Um, yeah, because the prop was too small and I couldn't get all the power out from the motor because there was not enough torque from the propeller so this is the frame for the bigger motor and I'm gonna keep it here because if there's some problems with my uh, the bigger outboard motor shell if the prop fails or something like that I could al always connect the bigger motor to this shell I have had this motor on my uh, cargo bay on my boat just in case if something happens but now I'm gonna use this shell to make the new outboard motor for my dinghy so the real challenge here is the mounting thing over here I got this this for my for my bigger output motor fit and this was built for this axle here and I got an extra of these opposite things this used to be like a big chunk of metal over here and usually when I got this from a machining company that uses you know does these custom things for industrial axles you know fitting so it's kind of a clunch mechanism it goes over here and there's a rubber kind of like a star that goes in here but I have only one rubber star and it's already fitted to my bigger motor so I have to find a way to make a new one for this but the real trick here is because there's a big chunk of metal usually over there and they use a CN CNC machining to carve you know custom made fit for different kind of a axles but shafts yeah axle shaft um, but because I didn't have the time and money to Asked them to, to do me the custom thing. I just got this and they saw the uh, big chunk of metal out so it's easier for me to fit something here. So now I have to figure out how to mount this to somewhere in here. I think first I have to get rid of this then figure out how I'm gonna and the real Real uh, difficulty is gonna be to make it center, because if there's a like one millimeter of of home, of thing here, it's gonna wobble a lot, because this RPMs 3,000. So that's gonna be the uh, starting situation. Now I'm gonna get to work. And oh yeah, yeah. So first, I'm gonna figure out how to take the. Uh, 
the gear of the motor and then figure out the uh, fitting over there and this. yes let's get started okay so I got the um, the gear off from here and I figure out how I'm gonna fit this to there so I'm not sure if you can see but I draw some lines to find the center this is sort of you know, as you can see it's not it's hard to use this surface because it's way off. This is level. Just used this to kind of uh, use the exact like this carving stripes, and then I find the middle middle place. So the idea is to drill a hole over here, make it through, then use this gear to weld this gear here, make this go all the way through around here. Zoom in. So make this go all the way over this point. And make this on this side. Yeah, so I can get it a little bit deeper. It, it makes it better to, to fit the, the cover on for the outboard mode. Okay, so. I got the hole drilled here. It's not perfect, but I make it. I made it um a little bit bigger, so I can fit it there. And now I had have this uh, gear measured over here to the center. It should be well. There might be like a half a millimeter or not even that uh, offset over here, but it should be. Pretty, pretty, pretty center. So now we're gonna just weld, spot weld over there, 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 around the gear to make it stick there. And then I'm gonna try to think how I'm gonna fit this to the frame over there. So that's next. Got the shape of the motor here on the uh, old old frame that I that was built for the uh, the bigger motor. So now it it sits a little bit lower, and but I need to make the um, supports here. So then I'm gonna drill holes over here to attach the motor there. So yeah. Now I'm gonna weld these parts over here and then measure the distance from the motor, the holes on the motor and drill holes and then I'm gonna uh, put the bolts below and tighten up. Otherwise it's look pretty good. It's pretty level. See this? <laughs> Perfect fit! Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up uh, this part of the project. Got the holes made here. I'm missing the 
the bolts and nuts to to attach the motor there but otherwise this is ready over here and it's working this is the, um, the counter part for that I still have to make from this rubber 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 thing is oops between these here you can check the previous video about me making the uh, the first outboard motor there you can see the white rubber thing that is usually on these kind of things but I don't I just have one and it's already in the uh, other motor so I'm gonna try to do something with this rubber thing hi there welcome back it's been a while since I last filmed the uh, the parts that where I well this fitting over there with the motor and that sort of stuff but that's because I was waiting for this to ship from China it's the battery I got it a week ago and I already fit it on my new electric kick scooter yeah and uh, it's working okay it's a 20 amp hour battery that works on uh, well they say 24 volts but when it's full there you can see it's 29 volts and it uses the uh, the lithium ion uh, battery cells the 18650 cells yeah I also did this this was not included with this but I had these voltage meters lying around so I made a hole and I put it there and hot glue it over there so it's pretty cool now you can see because there's all like this kind of a meter over the top it's just three bars so it gives you nothing but this is really cool yeah so I finally got this now it's time to move on on this this build so I got the controller here and I think I got the wires now connected the right way this is the throttle stick I'm not sure if this is the right kind of a size for this because they have different voltages they go like 0 to 10, 0 to something and yeah I'm not sure what this is but let's hope it works so this is the moment of truth let's see how it connects here let's first connect the battery on well, do I have the uh, yeah let's turn it off first so there's no sparks then we're gonna yeah I got the motor here now not connected there because I have to also fit the clunch rubber there before I put it there but let's first try if the motor turns so I got that connected I'm gonna turn the power on yeah we got a green light over there so everything is okay for now, now let's see what happens nothing happens God damn it. Chinese writing over here, but it doesn't help me. God damn it. Okay, so I got it all sorted out. There was a small wire that needs to connect the there's a forward and backward switch over there. So I had to connect that so it turns forwards switch and I just made a, a small wire over there so it works but as you can see it's idling with this speed without me doing anything with the throttle good news is that the throttle works 
So it adjusts the speed. But I don't like that it's idling with that much speed. It should be stopped when this is in this off, -off position. So. I'm not sure if there's just kind of a quality control with this, so it leaks power even though it should be in, in zero. So yeah, I think I'm gonna open this. I took this apart to see what's inside and if there's some play somewhere to make it not stop at all, that there's a, just a little bit current going on. But I don't know much about these potentiometers, but I thought that they were like kind of like a, well, there's kind of a tapers and there's a, some kind of slider that transfer more and more current through, and that's how it controls the, uh, the current to the motor. Well, it's not the same current, it's like it's just the um, 0 to 5 voltage or so something like that. But and something to do with ohms, ohms, how do you say it? O H M O S M ohms. You know what I mean. But what I found out is there's kind of like magnets over here. They go towards the three wires that goes I don't know if you can see they just go like there together and the magnets somehow adjust the, uh, the current as you can see if I take it off all the way it goes like a middle speed I think half, half the speed and put this on there's a stopper over here, so the magnet is touching the uh, the wires over there, and then it goes to slowest speed. And when it moves away from that magnet and gets closer to this magnet, it goes faster, and it goes faster than the uh, with the magnets, as you can see. <laughs> I'm not gonna try the full power because it might fall off. But yeah, this is like I think this is a half speed. And if I put this magnet closer to those, it goes even faster. As you can see, if I could... No, it's not touching. Once I get it closer, you can hear it starting to affect the... Uh... <laughs> so I could use it also like this. So yeah. And I think I broke it also so I don't mind breaking it now I know how it works or how this kind of a potentiometer works I think I'm now gonna just search the right one the right one for this this came with the potentiometer but it's a different kind well it's it's the normal kind of uh, it has the pole and it's twisted but it's hard to put it inside here. Well, it's not impossible, but it's, yeah. So I'm gonna see what's that like. I got that on my boat. It's gonna take a while and we still have the ice over the sea. So it's gonna be a while until I'm able to test this out with my dinghy. So there's no hurry with that. But I'm gonna wrap this part of this video series here. This is gonna be the part one. I'm gonna make a part two once I got all this set up and also, well, when I got the right kind of throttle, I'm gonna put this, make this the stick handle over there and then yeah, well, I'm gonna show you one thing more until I finish. This is probably the 
ugliest thing I ever done. It should be a copy of this. <laughs> so as you can see, damn, it's heavy. So this is the thing that I welded there. This is the opposite part. It goes like this. And this wrap of things goes between these, like this. And this um, enables it to, you know, have a little play. So if the axles are not completely straight, aligned together, this rubber helps to make it smoother. But I got only one of these. And this is from my main motor from my sailboat, so I thought that I could make a copy of that by myself using just a rubber rubber sheets. Glue them together <laughs> and it's well there's a toilet paper here because I, I put it there and I put some books over it to press it while it was setting, so but yeah. I think I need to cut some parts out of here but I think it's gonna work okay for this motor because this motor is not gonna get that much use <laughs> this is really ugly I'm gonna wrap this up so again this is gonna be the part one the second part is gonna be me having all this sorted out and working okay and then I'm gonna test it, took it out when the sea is not frozen. See how fast it goes and how much, how much is, is consuming this battery. I hope you like this. If you like this, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more of this kind of building stuff and sailing stuff and kick scooter stuff. But yeah. Thank you for watching and see you soon on the next one. Bye-bye.